Hi, I'm Daniel from Target Internet, and in this video, we're gonna talk about improving the results from your email campaigns by cleaning your email data. So I'll go through and explain this step by step. Fundamentally, the, the biggest problem in email marketing isn't really spam anymore. Spam is still a huge issue, uh, but there are improved spam filters, and we just need to make sure our email is getting delivered through those. But what we're talking about a lot in the industry now is not the spam, but what we're referring to as bacon. I promise this, that is a real uh, industry term, spelled B-A-C-N with no O for some reason. So bacon is all that stuff you subscribe to, all those emails you subscribe to when you bought products, or whatever it may be, but you never read the email. So the email just comes in time after time and you just delete it immediately, you never bother reading it. Now if we're judging our email campaign success by looking at the amount of emails we send, uh, we're doing the wrong thing because we're taking a volume-based approach. So we need to look at our emails and make sure we're sending to people that actually want our emails, not people that are just getting them and deleting them immediately. So there's a number of steps you can use this to go through. And what we'll talk about is how you can use the two fundamental measures in email marketing, open rates and click-through rates, to clean your email data. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna segment our email results and the responses we get into four different quadrants. So first of all, high open rate and high click-through rate. So those people that always open and always click on your emails, they're your email champions. Those are the people that are always looking at your email content. Potentially you could email those people more regularly, but what you probably want to do is engage with those people more. Those people that open and click regularly are the most likely to respond to questionnaires, surveys, and those sorts of things as well. So that's one segment, and we don't have a problem with them, they're, they're working really well for us. Then we've got the people that open regularly, but don't click. So they are opening our emails, they like the subject lines, they like when we're sending them, but they're not so keen on our content. We're not driving them to click through to our websites. Therefore, we need to stimulate click-through rate. So to stimulate click-through rate, you fundamentally need to test content. The right length of copy, call to action, design, and those sorts of things. So we're starting to develop a bit of a testing strategy. The other end of things, we've got someone that's got um, a low open rate but high click-through rate, which means they don't open very often, but when they do, they like what they see and they click through to our website. So in that scenario, you need to go through and make sure you're stimulating open rate, which basically means testing subject lines and testing when we're sending and potentially testing uh, the from address that we're sending from as well. The reason I say potentially testing the from address is that you don't want to keep changing your from address because spam filters build up trust over a period of time. And if you keep changing, you're not really building that trust. But in order to stimulate open rate, it's really about the subject line and when you're sending your emails. So we've already got three quadrants. Those people that open and click all the time, great, let's try and engage with them more. Those people that aren't opening as much as we like, we'll go through and we'll test out different subject lines and different times of day to send. Those people aren't clicking as much as we like. We'll go through and try and test out different content and layout. And then there's one final quadrant. And these are the people that aren't opening and aren't clicking. Now we shouldn't give up on these people immediately, but it's very likely lots of people in that quadrant aren't ever gonna open and click on your emails. And what's happening is every time you send an email out, they're not responding. So overall, your average open rates and click-through rates, it's actually pushing them down and you're never gonna achieve best practice levels because of that. So what you probably want to do with these people that aren't opening and clicking is take them out and run the next stage of the process on them. And that stage is basically going through a re-engagement process. And you're probably gonna send a series of three, I'd say, emails to them. And what you do is you send the first email out and you say, we haven't heard from you in a while, here's something specifically for you, maybe a free piece of content, a special offer, whatever it may be. If they don't respond to that, you trigger another email after seven days. And you say, we still haven't heard from you. Here's something else that's spectacularly great just for you. If you don't hear from them, you trigger a third email, maybe after seven days again. And if you don't get a response from that third email, you can be pretty sure that those people aren't very likely to ever respond to your emails. So you're gonna take them off of your main list. Now I don't necessarily recommend deleting them, but then what you might do is start to go through and email those people a lot less regularly. So you might email them once a month or once a quarter or something instead of maybe your weekly email. 
The reason being, otherwise what you're doing is emailing someone that doesn't want your emails and you're basically saying, we're annoying, we're annoying, we're annoying. And it's, it's not good for your brand. It's a negative brand touch point. Now, if you're wondering, well, this is all fine. Where do I actually get these open and click through rates from? Your email service provider, your ESP, whichever one you're using should give you open and click through rates. And you should be able to filter your list by those rates. You can go through and export through to a spreadsheet to kind of chop the data up. Different systems approach it differently. So for example, something like MailChimp gives you a star rating. And you could approach it really simply by saying anything with a five star rating is someone that always opens and always clicks. We're gonna send them a survey. People on zero or one stars, we've got a problem with those people, let's try and re-engage with them. But ideally you're gonna go into those four segments that I described by open and click through rate and you're gonna go through and you're gonna come up with a testing process. And that is engage with the people that are already engaging with you. Go through and try and stimulate open rate or click through rate and then those people that aren't responding work out a way of using some emails to actually re-engage with them or if they don't re-engage, remove them from the list. Now that process of sending out a series of triggered emails can actually be automated as well. So pretty much every email service provider now gives you the opportunity to trigger emails automatically. So you could say anybody in this particular list, and you could build a list of that particular group of people, trigger an email, if they don't respond, trigger another one and so on as well. So it can take out a lot of the work that's fundamentally involved. Then what we're doing is getting more from the list that we've already got. We're pushing up our open rates and click through rate, and we're taking off the people that don't want our emails anymore. So overall, our average open rates and click through rates should give us a much better impression of really what we're getting from that list because it's not being dragged down by people that are never going to respond anyway. If you go through this process on a fairly regular basis, you will always improve your open rates, your click through rates, you'll drive more traffic to your website, and then you have the opportunity of doing more with your campaigns as well.